I live with mental illness. I suffer from a mental illness. I suffer from bipolar. Every day is different. You don't know what you're gonna wake up to. I live with mental illness and I struggle with anxiety and depression on a daily basis. I'm living with a mental illness. So here's the problem. Do you know that one out of five people in the United States are gonna deal with a mental illness in their lifetime? And those are the people that are just living with it. That's not counting the people that are family members, the people that are friends. Do you know one out of eight 911 calls are about a mental illness? That 43% of the US that's affected by a mental illness receives treatment. That leaves 57% of those that have been diagnosed with a mental illness without treatment. Do you know that depression is the leading cause of disability worldwide? And so few people getting the treatment that they need. It's almost sickening. So here's the treatments that they live and swear by. They live by therapy. I go to therapy. The therapy calms me down. But in all honesty, I don't feel like it's truly helping. They live by medication. I take medication. The medication doesn't help. There's one thing and one thing alone that I've found that has truly helped me along the way. Helped me with all of my issues that I'm dealing with up here that I can't stop. For those of you that don't know, I live with PTSD. I live with depression. I live with major anxiety. And I live with ADHD. There's one true thing that's helped me through all of this. My family. You guys that are a part of this lifestyle that I've been so fortunate to be a part of. But the major thing, the major thing that I'm trying to convey to my therapist, that I'm trying to convey for others, is that these animals, these animals that I love so dear, that have been such a major influence in my life, been a major part of my life, be recognized as a therapy animal. So we're gonna go over it today. And can snakes really be a therapy animal? According to the AVMA, which is the American Veterinary Medical Association, this is word for word what they say a therapy animal is. Therapy animal is an animal assisted intervention in which there is a goal-directed intervention of the animal meeting certain criteria in an integral part of the treatment process. I don't know about you guys, but there's many ways to look at that. You could look at it as, okay, well, they're just talking about service animals. A service animal is something that's gonna do something that you can't do for yourself. Today we're finding a way to deal with our mental illnesses and I know so many people in this community deal with the mental illness aspect just like I do. Just like multiple of my family members do. Multiple of my friends. Some of which are in the community. So the way that snakes work called the pet effect and the way it works is pets and therapy animals can help alleviate stress alleviate anxiety depression PTSD 
In fact, 74% of pet owners with mental illnesses reported improvements. Improvements in mental health thanks to their pets. Those animals that aren't dogs, cats, miniature horses, things of that nature that can perform tasks for you, they fall under a category. That category is called an emotional service animal. And you can take these almost anywhere depending on whether you have a doctor's note or things of that nature. But under Title III of the ADA, which is the Americans with Disability Act, emotional support animals are not service animals and as such are not required to be given access to all public places. And it's because they're not considered a service animal, they're a support animal. And unless you have a doctor written note, they will never be viewed as such. So what makes snakes such great emotional support animals? Is there such thing as using them for a therapy? Well, if you look at other forms of therapy, you have hug therapy. Hug therapy has been proven to relieve chemicals such as oxytocin and serotonin. Chemicals that in your mind when they're released and in your body when they're released, they make you happy. They help you have control. Our animals are literally pulling us out of our fear, calming us down. That secureness, that, that feeling of you're not alone. That fear that for some reason is there that you can't explain, it just pops up. Snakes have the same effect. You can go to therapy, you can spend time with your family and just really dive into things and keep yourself busy. And that's what a lot of us have to do. We have to stay incredibly busy at all times. Otherwise, we fall into that state. We fall into that mental illness. It takes control and it's hard. You know what's not hard? It's not hard to have these animals. It's not hard to love these animals. Maybe we do this as a business. Maybe we breed or maybe we educate on these animals or maybe we just have the animals as pets but it's not hard. In fact, it's one of the greatest gifts that we have. And the only thing that we really truly have to do is take the time to appreciate, take the time to get to know their personalities, take the time to take care of ourselves and pull ourselves out of those spots, to get out of our own head. It's that easy. And for some, Maybe it's just getting over the fear. These aren't dangerous creatures. If you don't read them right, and you don't treat them with the respect they deserve, can they be defensive? Yes. If you watch tonight, I want you to think about this. I want you to consider having snakes, using those snakes as therapy animals. If you have a mental illness and you're not receiving help, please, 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 I beg of you, go find some help. Talk to somebody, reach out to me. I have no problem talking to anyone about any issue that they may have. In fact, that used to be my job. Don't be afraid to have an open mind. Make your own decision on this. Don't listen to me just because I love these animals. Maybe snakes aren't for you. Find something that's for you. Thank you all for watching. Leave a comment if you need help. Let us reach out to you. Leave a comment on what you think. What you think the best idea to battle that mental illness is. There's a reason why I stay, say stay blessed in my videos. And that's because I am blessed. I'm blessed to be here. I'm blessed to have somewhat of a solid head on my shoulders. To be able to provide for my family. To be able to live with them. To live with my animals. And be able to just do what I love to do. 
to be walking a path to where I'm going to be my own. I'm going to take care of my own and I'm not relying on others for that. And that's powerful. Find your power. Find your way out. It's a journey. And unless we take those steps, unless we use our mind and do what we have to to progress in our life, we're always going to be stuck. I don't want that for anybody else because I've been there. I know how that feels. To be trapped, to almost feel paralyzed, to watch things happening in your life that you don't agree with, but you almost feel powerless. You're not. I guarantee you, you're not. The hardest thing is to take that first step. So if you're dealing with a mental illness, take that first step with me today. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. You guys stay blessed. I'm gonna see you soon.